So onto the stage, the athlete who brings the heaviest of the body weights, the women who weighed in just over two hours ago, and this is Ivanova from Bulgaria, 20 years of age, and again looking for a big improvement here. Lift number one, massive personal best. If I tell you, Brandy, Junior European Championships last year, 66 kilos, she's lifted 69, comes out 82, very straightforward. Yeah, you're tempted to say, how about putting some weight on the bar? It's hard to get my eyes off those shoes. I'm not sure I've seen those orange shoes before, but boy, she made that look light. And now Poland. Johanna Lukowska, well of course they started brilliantly yesterday in Poland with Marzena Kapinska actually dominating the women's 48 kilo class and again here's an athlete uh, who's maturing 23 years of age and that under 23 silver medal last season should have also given her a lot more confidence Again, you're looking at this generation which we started to see just two or three seasons ago on the senior competition stage. Yeah, this is the generation that takes over from the Agata Robles and the Kleinovskas. This is a nice lift in that we're starting to see a little bit more zip when the lifter reverses directions at the top of the pole. The bar goes up and the body goes down. It's one of the things that's unique about weightlifting. We've seen some really kind of studied uh, lifts, I think, so far. Not really hitting the gas. This one, though, she was showing a little bit of speed on that. I think we'll see things pick up as the weights get heavier and we get to the top tier of the lifter from this class. So Russia's represented here, Svetlana Sherem Shanova, pretty good buddy with the former Russian Podibadova, who's the women's star at 75 kilos. Well, she got turned over in Paris, but still a very effective Russian athlete, as was Kazakh lifter as she is now. But this woman, 26 years of age, has come back to the Russian squad. Just exactly what I was talking about. Here you'll see a noticeable difference in the speed of the lifter. You're going to see real acceleration as far as the bar moving up and then the lifter reversing direction to the top and racing underneath. Boom, flash. Sticks it. Nice lift. And we don't see too many Russian lightweights in the yeah. lighter classes in the yeah. World Championships well, and the European Championships. Still serving the realm of the Asians for the, the top lifters. And Russia's reserving their lifter for the other categories where they dominate. So Pekmetsky out for her attempt at 83 kilos. for that. She's basically getting crushed though under the bar, trying to maintain control. Has to hold it on completely outstretched arms. She doesn't quite get herself wedged under this. Let's watch it in slow motion. Pull, finish, reverse directions, try to lock it out. Look how low she is. Losing it forward, can't move the hips. Loses the lift. She's looking pretty athletic under there though. A lot of movement to try to save that. Well, this just gives you an idea of how competitive this class is because everybody really coming out for their first lift. They're all gathered within about five kilos for their opener and this is Yulia Rod. 
for Germany. Bronze medal in the European Championships four years ago, but a silver, promoted to silver last season in Kazan. And at the moment, I'd say, Randy, the most promising of all the German female athletes, goes about her work really quietly. Again, at the heavier end of the bodyweight scale. Outside the top 10 in Paris. But one of the German athletes who hopes that as a result of the points they've earned in qualification in Paris and on the road to London that she will get the pick for the place. So out comes Pekmeci for Turkey. Second attempt. Now this is a correction that she needs to make. does so and in so doing gets a new personal best by a kilo yeah still looks just a tad shaky did you think in the bottom position and that unusual arm lock of hers makes it look a little bit less stable than it actually is good lift though Joanna Lokowska for Poland opened up really well. At the moment she's been pushed back down to fourth place. But this is an extra two kilos at 84 kilos. And will give her the lead ahead of the Turkish lifter you just saw and Yulia Road and Sharam Shanova of Russia who's currently in third place. Early days though. still three lifters to start their campaign but we're getting close to their entry moments and that's a good second lift there and there's no doubt actually Randy also when you start the championships and like Karpinska wins co confidently and well yesterday that actually puts some good spirit and confidence into the whole of the Polish camp. Absolutely you know it's a very tightly knit team you know something in fact the Germans also have going for them. Team eats together they hang out together so that sort of camaraderie positive feeling absolutely right it resonates through the whole team. I have actually detected that, you know, when we've been around the restaurant in the hotel, you know, that there's they're exactly that, you know, there's a really good feeling about the Polish team. You just sort of sense that, you know, in particularly in the women's division, having Klinovskas here, but, you know, of her generation, Agatha Robles now, you know, well gone. This is the new generation. You sort of sense that confidence that we saw eight, nine years ago coming into this new group. Here is the defending champion, Eileen Dajdanin, 30 years of age. Really terrific personality, one of the more relaxed people that you can chat with off the competition stage, but this is her office. 85 kilos on the bar, first attempt coming in as planned at this weight. And that's what the Turkish fans wanted to see and also what Dr. Hassan Akush, the president of the Tur Turkish weightlifting, wanted to see. A good first attempt. Taking care of business, sticks this left. Team leader mentioned the new guard coming in. This is the leader from the last generation. Yeah, in terms of Turkey and without Nurjan Thailand, who's out of the competition, it means that Dajdelin's carrying a lot of uh, important weight on her shoulders for the Turkish women's division. Now, here comes 18-year-old Elena 
Chichikan for Belarus. Really explosive fast lift and that's an excellent first opening snatch. Well, lots of unusual things going on there. Lifter's very tall for her class, starts off with a very wide foot spacing and then watch the lockout on her arms. Look at the micro extend. She made this look easy. And she's the lightest of the whole of the contenders tonight. Yeah, which goes to show you how thin she really is because tall is just a euphemism for thin and weight lifting. Ivanova for her second attempt at 85 kilos. Now again, Ivanova now at the moment in seventh place, but this would whiz her up into the bronze medal position behind Chichkan and Dajdelin. Never went for it. No. And that bar, you could see, it never really got over her head into any sort of position. She never really got under it at all. Yeah, she never cranked on that. You can't hold back at all in the snatch. Entire lift in less than one second. You've got just basically rip on that thing when it's at the top and then get that body underneath. And you can see the real hesitation was in finishing the pull and then getting her body under it. What I would say about her is that, you know, really all her work until now has been done at junior level. Uh, this is a big occasion for her yeah. uh, in the senior championships. Now here's Yulia Road, 85 kilos, still the weight on the bar. And this will take her up into the silver medal position. She'll split Chichkan of Belarus and Dajdelin of Turkey if she gets it. And a nice little smile to uh, finish it off. And 85 kilos, that's on the money. That's where we've seen her lifting quite consistently. That would be her personal record, but not broken. It just equaling it at the moment. But she stuck that. I think that's why she's celebrating too, David. It's not just the weight that she lifted, it's how she lifted. Boy, she really cracked the whip on that. Yeah, a little bit difficult. That's the protocol board. A bit washed out there, so you can't really see too much. But I can tell you that it's going to be Dutch Dellin coming in at 86 kilos. Well, that's only a kilo up. And I didn't think it was going to last for long. They pushed it to 88. And it's her teammate. Pek Meski, who is going to come in at 86 kilos, which would represent for her a three kilo increase. Now, the second attempt was good. Put right the mistake, got a personal record. Now, can she go that little bit further? As you remarked, Randy, this is the young woman with an unusual arm lock. Yeah, unusual bottom position. was there. Well, I gotta tell you, David, I was holding my breath. I thought, here goes the right arm any second. You know, because her arm's hyperextender, it really looks as if she's put in that broken arm position. But she held, I don't want to say steady, because she's still shaking in the bottom position. She stands up, but she makes this lift. Look at her quivering. She's moving forward, trying to adjust the body under the bar. And uh, not by a lot. It'll be interesting to see how she does on the jerk because she looks fairly shaky overhead in the snatch. Could be worse in the jerk. Now, looking for three out of three, this is Joanna Lokowska and 86 kilos on the bar for her. Now, this would take her into the overall lead by virtue of lighter body weight ahead of the young Turkish lifter who just preceded her. Tell you what, there's some very good lifting going on here. Technically, this is very enjoyable. Well, you know, we haven't seen, fortunately, now, any two misses so far. Two to one. Now, 
one referee out of step with the other two. That right arm. Yeah. It looks pretty obvious there. I didn't I didn't actually notice that live, did you? Uh, I didn't. Slow motion, pretty simple to see. She's got the lift. Um, the jury is sitting right in front of us, and they're pretty motionless, so they yeah, must be happy with it. Exactly. Yeah, so matter of perspective on that, which it often is, which is why the referees are spread out. They're different, they have different vantage points. Now, Ivanova, you made the point that you didn't think she committed last right. time, so hopefully her coaches have inspired her now. Yeah. Same thing, I mean, she never really attacked that weight at the top. Finishing the pull and then going under it. I think, you know, if we can see her face in the slow motion at the top of the pull, let's see if she's looking like she's just got this ferocious sense of, no, it's like, that. it's like, well, I don't know, maybe I'll try to do it. You can't yeah. do that with snaps, it's like on-off switch. Yeah, it was interesting because that close up really showed the body language, didn't it? Then you could just see there wasn't, the belief wasn't there. Yeah, you have to have a certain heart you can't be soft about the snatch, you have to really go after it. Bar up to 87 kilos, so this is, in terms of competing on a competition stage at this body weight, this is new territory, just easing the bar back, maybe to give herself a little bit more room if she needs to walk forward. Half a minute, plenty of time. Steady's in that bottom position, drives up there, and we've had three very happy smiles, and Julia Rode of Germany takes herself right up into first place. Three out of three, excellent start. Nice. She hits him, 83, 85, 87 on the money. So, 88 kilos, and this is Christina Yovu from uh, Moldova. 19 years of age, this her first attempt, and obviously if she succeeds in this, goes right into the lead. Fairly straightforward first attempt, and what's interesting about that is you might remember in Paris, Randy, she lifted uh, 83 kilos, didn't make it, got injured, and then had to retire in the World Championship. So that's a much better start, and she started on uh, 88 kilos. So uh, Jovu of Moldavia, or Moldova, I should say, in gold, Yulia Rod in silver, and Lokowska of Poland in bronze at the moment. And this is Sheram. Shadova of Russia comes from a town called Shadinsk which is pretty close to the Kazakh border a couple of years ago here in Antalya was as good as seventh in the world championships but a medal today would be an achievement in championships so far at senior level yet to medal Yeah, nice save, huh? Actually, almost the same as the first attempt, yeah. that little sway and... Yeah, uh, really leaning over to her left side. Here's the adjustment, look at this. But see, the arm's never unlocked, so that's fine. She could, you know, bend as much as she'd like to. But look at the delts on her. So, Dajdelin now. At the moment, down in seventh place. Now, this would take her up into second place in the snatch. And she's pretty confident lifter when it comes in the clean and jerk. And I think her tactic all the way along here is to be, to be there or thereabouts going into the second half. Well, that could pose 
is a little problem. Sw swung the bar, and I think we'll see maybe her toes coming up as she's going back on her heels trying to save it right there. Cannot do it. Has to let go of the bar. Really uh, not happy about that, obviously, but... I think she's in a difficult place, Randy, because obviously the big goal for her is the Olympic Games, and you, you don't really want to push it that hard, but at the same time, she's the defending champion. And you got people like this coming after you. They're knocking on your door. To scan. Belarus, second attempt, 88 kilos. Boy, once again... Shaky overhead, all these same unusual qualities that we talked about on our opener. Tall, wide stance, hyperextended arms, but watch the body up and down. Look at this. Almost catching that, you know, at a thighs parallel position, I think. Lighter body weight puts her into the lead, and Dash Delin now has to come out for her third and final attempt. <laughs> Now, if she does make it, it's not the fact that she's going to go into the bronze medal position, but it's the 88 kilos. It's the extra kilos that she needs here to keep her close to the action. controls and completes and that's a really important recovery there Randy. Well she had to be a cool hand you know to do that you know pressure sometimes when a lifter's under pressure more likely to want to swing the bar she actually gives it quite a pop you can see that at mid-thigh height but she nails that that's why she's uh, what going on her third hopefully European Championships title. What's interesting is when she was silver medalist last year in Paris and also here in Antalya in uh, 2010 she was collecting 90 93 kilos on her way to those silver medals at world level in the European championships it's been 88 90 so clearly that's the level they don't want her to go that hard that fast they want to keep the big stuff for London now Sharam Shanova of uh, Russia third attempt 90 kilos so yet again this is going to put her into the lead just to give you some context here, 95 kilos is the senior European record held by Nurjan Taylan of Turkey. And that leaves the Russian contender at the moment down in fourth place, but the first four have all got 88 kilos. The difference is that Shishkan and Yobu have got attempts left. So this is Shishkan for Belarus. Six in the Junior Worlds in Penang last year. 80, 100 for a total of 180. Not unusual to see an athlete make rapid progress. She's posted a total of 187. Or I should say 197 as a target for today. Now this for three out of three and the lead. Comes right forward. Ah. She had her quite run out of platform there. Y you know, I thought maybe she'd be able to hit the brakes and save this. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If you have a look at this, there's, well, it's the best part of a meter still there yeah. for to use. Yeah, I don't know if she relaxed at that point or she thought she'd run out of platform, couldn't look down. Too bad. She had the bar over her head. Well, I was going to say she was looking to enhance her advantage. She still is in the lead, and it's now only Christina Yobu of Moldova. Interesting. Shishkan, 18 years of age. Yovu, 19 years of age, the two youngsters in this. Dajdelin, 
in third place. That's a professional piece of lifting, Randy. Yeah, you know, she had two attempts left, so she knew she didn't have to be overly hasty here. She could kind of pick her shots, but she said, hey, you know what? I'm coming to get you. I'm going to eat your lunch. Well, it gives her a three kilo advantage over her closest pursuers with one more attempt to come. And that 91 kilos, also a new personal record for her. In the Junior Europeans, which she won last year, uh, 90, 105, 195. Today she's uh, posted 200. So that's what she's looking for. Does Delin 210. Does Delin, of course, though, the European clean and jerk record holder. And they'll all be aware of Dutch Dellin's capabilities in the second phase of the competition. Right, she's listed uh, for a 110 opener, which is the highest there so far. Of course, the lifter could change that, but it signals just what you're talking about. She thinks that she's got the big gun in the clean jerk. I would say that second attempt looked well within her ability. Look at this, 96, big jump. She's going for a record. It would be a new junior European, in fact, a new senior, senior world, or senior European record as well. 96 kilos, shows her confidence. Yeah, this is certainly a lift if she gets it, which is gonna send a little message around the 53 kilo world. Yeah, I mean, look, three kilo jump, first to second attempt, five kilo jump, second to third. Not on this particular day, but Randy, let's put this in context. Last year, Junior World Championships in Penang. That was really her last effort as a 48 kilo lifter. Quite clearly, the move up to fighting 53 kilos, that's very definitely a good move. You know, you have a feeling that this is a lift she has made in training. I don't think, I don't think this was done on a wing and a prayer. I think they expected her to make this. She didn't need to. It would have been nice, but this is a lift she's going to be making in the near future, I think. And what it does mean is that uh, we still have a very tight competition going into the halfway stage. And Christina Yovu, who goes into the halfway stage with 91 kilos, Shishkan 88 and Dutch Delin on 88 as well and also on uh, 88, uh, Sherem Shanova of Russia. There's combat, you see how tight it is at the halfway stage. Behind those leading four, Yulia Rhodes, that's a new personal record so really the clean and jerk competition this is going to be uh, fascinating to see how the second part unfolds and who is going to end up as the 53 kilo champion of Europe we're going to take a little break as the lifters get ready for the clean and jerk Ivanova bar going up to 106 kilos so Ivanova buying a bit of time yeah look at that body language okay she's just slouched back in that chair I don't think I would want to see that in my athlete this is the lifter not the lifter coming out but Ivanova lifter doesn't seem to have the fire and that body language suggests that that's the right call so this is a three kilo increase for Lakovska. As I said uh, right at the beginning of the second half of the competition, she's just performing one or two kilos below what we were seeing, you know, in those under 23 championships. But again, you know, the Olympics is in the back of the mind. Well, the message 
I think everybody will get from that is that there's some work to do in the remaining 100 days to London. Got to do some more squats, I think. Got to build up that leg strength. Pulls us in nicely. Nice example of second ball. I mean, starts slowly off the platform, accelerates, gets under the bar, but you can't stand up with it. And as we've said, you know, you don't get partial credit in the clean and jerk. You got to rack it, stand up, and jerk. Getting well, a little bit of the pep talk. Well, the pep talk, but before the pep talk, there was a little shake of the head, just almost, if you yeah, translate it into whipped. words, it was no. Yeah, I'm whipped. Well, when she just slouched back in the chair like that, I mean, it just didn't suggest that she was on fire. And, well, Ivanova, the bar's gone up to uh, 107, and it's not a question of buying time. I think it's a question of whether the coach can actually get her out there. Yeah, I wonder if they pulled out. Sharam Shanova of Russia coming out for her first attempt. Now, it wasn't a bad first half for her. In fourth place, brings forward 88 kilos, missed her last attempt at 90 kilos, which, of course, would have won a, a medal at European level. But let's see what she can do here. 107 kilos for an opener. absolutely fine now we've seen her around in one guise or another for about eight years when she was a junior and then she had this sort of yo-yoing between Russia and Kazakhstan but if you look down the past records then she has actually lifted 115 kilos in clean and jerk so she's not out of this yeah you, you know this thing about her leaning to the left you could see it throughout this whole lift you know, her bodies aren't perfectly symmetric I mean, I wonder if, say, for example, her left leg is just enough shorter, or the arm that just makes her lean that way, but watching her next attempt, you'll see it leaning to the left throughout. So, Pegmeci, Turkey, 189 kilos, in fifth place at the moment, and this is a four kilo increase. On top of a big opener. Once again, you saw the hips go back, the bar comes forward, and there's no way you can save the lift. Yeah, you kind of wonder, I mean, were they rolling the dice a little bit, you think, with her here? And you're not going to win every time when you do that. I mean, they're, they didn't kick the easy path as far as weight selection. Okay. Yep, the drives, got the set, gets set right there, gets in the air. Nope, tries to walk forward, cannot. Now this is as good as we've seen, Yulia, in championship form, 107, so this is right on her personal best. Currently in second place, this to take her into the lead in the clean and jerk, but would still keep her in second place overall. Again, not the most economical of cleans. It's taken quite a bit of energy. Look how close the windpipe it was. And again, I just wonder, Randy, the bar looked very close to the windpipe, but again, it was the clean, really. You know, she's coming to the end of what has been uh, a long afternoon, a lot of effort in the right. warm-up room to get ready, and just seemed to be one lift too far. Yeah, you, you know, I didn't think the struggle seemed quite as bad as on the first attempt, but here's where it's going to take its toll. She's going to get deep breath, she's going to get set, you see it right there, dip, drive, but now she's not even close to really being under the bar. I mean, it came down as quickly as it went up. And whether Yulia gets a medal at these championships is now really all in the hands of others. And the bar going to 108 kilos for the first appearance of Christina Yobu. Now, remember, she comes forward here with a 91 kilo 
level, which gives her three kilo advantage over all her opponents from the first half of the competition. So 108. And again, of course, if she lifts this, then she will go into the lead overall and into the lead in the clean and jerk. Well, she started in workman-like fashion at the beginning of the competition and she started the second half in the exactly the same way. So that gives her a total of 199. Just want to put that into context now. Junior European champion last season, uh, 195, so she's four kilos up on that. She posted 200 kilos as her target. She's got two attempts left to find the extra kilo. I think she might just do that. Yeah, look very routine for you, as you pointed out, just kind of knocks that out. Now, Albania, only 78 kilos in the first half of the competition, so Feti Kasai really, her eyes, if anything, are on, first of all, get a total, but actually try and get something out of the clean and jerk. like to look at the right arm in slow motion yeah. there again. I think they're going to give it three white lights. No, <laughs> one, two to one. And that would make sense, that uh, red light. Let's have a look at it when we uh, get the slow motion. Have a look at this, Randy. Rax the bar stands up. Getting set for the jerk. And look at that arm. Yeah. Yeah. Press out? Yeah. No, not horrible, horrible, but you know, you could tell even when she was uh, in the middle of the lift that she was working to hold the bar overhead, which is usually an indication that the arms aren't fully locked out. That said, she's got the lift by two to one. Yeah, absolutely. So now, Elena Shishkan, already a medal from the first half of the competition for this young lady from Belarus, who's made an impression already here this afternoon. Yeah. Five kilo increase. Big question. Boy, okay, so kind of one of those things that's funny about weightlifting. So you got this lifter I've said several times, really tall, which is to say really thin. Notice how easily she stands up with this weight, right? And you think, oh, okay. Not going to be the one with the strong legs. Look at this. Boom, nothing. And then, for all that ease and recovery, she's going to miss the jerk. Yep, just was really not quite in the right position. It goes to straight arms, but I think she's leaning back a little bit and not getting the bone-on-bone -bone support that you need on the jerk. Well, this is an 8 kilo increase now in effect right because we've got a miss in between right yeah she missed 105 yeah she's got a hundred yeah so she's slapping she missed missed that slapping another three on say well let's really roll the dice and and you can see you know we're sitting here thinking now what kind of call is this what are we missing okay she misses so let's go up another three, and so then she does a deadlift. We saw her not a few moments ago, sitting down, talking to the coach. Yeah. The, the shake of the head said no. Yeah. He's obviously been buying time, trying to convince her. Yeah. Meanwhile, the bar's been going up and up yeah. and up, and uh, he finally convinces her to come out on stage, yeah. and it was never in her head. Yeah, with well, the body language, when she was sitting there, sitting back there, said, look at her, she's just slouching in this chair, relaxing as if she's watching TV or something. And actually, I've got to lay that down to the coach because he obviously didn't read. He didn't read the condition in the warm-up room about what she was capable of doing and how she was going. Well, or it might just be the way she is, you know. Bekmetchi, Turkey, 108 kilos. Five kilo increase. Big question again here. Now, can she chuck this overhead in the required manner? Not really too close on that jerk. I mean, she's trying for it, 
Heats are on 189, which is 10 kilos off the lead. Okay. Dipper drive. Now, you can see he was left a little bit out front. Didn't push your head through on this. Haven't seen uh, anything of Dutch Denny in the warm-up, which is a bit of a pity, actually, but she's put the opening attempt up to 113 and uh, trying to send a little message to Christina Yovu, uh, who's got the 108 and is looking for 112 at her second attempt. But this is the Albanian, Feti Kasai, 108, going 110 now. Now, it was a 2-1 to one in her favour last time. She's got half a minute, so time is okay. Just making sure that she's got optimum grip. Boy, I really look good up to that point. You know, easy, clean. She lifts the elbows up really high, you know, to get set for the jerk. But then it's like this half-hearted dip and drive with the legs. It's got to be a very plyometric move. Legs unlock a little bit. They straighten out violently, and you could see she didn't really work to go under that bar at all. Yeah, and I agree with you about the first part. The clean was fine. It was actually better than the first one. Yeah, got the elbows up really high. She's got this really solid rack position for the bar. Great platform for setting the jerk in motion, but uh, she didn't finish the execution. One more attempt to come. Might be going to Albania in a couple of years' time, uh, Randy. They're, oh, really? yeah. up, they're up in the, they're up for uh, staging the Europeans in Tirana in 2014. Yeah. I've, now, never, I've never been there. Shishkan, 111 kilos on the bar, but surely Fetty is going to come out. Yeah, she's going to come out and try. 111 so Fetty's actually put the bar up by a kilo Shishkan who failed on 108 has pushed the bar up to 112 well this is the high stakes poker this is the yeah. chess game that's going on they're all angling these coaches to try and push their lifters to get that medal in the clean and jerk right. the coach does the math the lifter has to lift the bar Now, on the evidence of what we've seen so far, the first bit should be reasonably straightforward. Needs to be, and well, that was just not in. <laughs> that wasn't in the head, was I, it? I think all the air went out of the balloon on that one. Yeah, and and you know what, David? I don't think it was because of the clean. She just knew what was coming, and yeah. she missed that last jerk by so much that how am I possibly going to do this? Uh, guess what? I won't even really go for it. Well, what do we always say? First one, you know you've done a million times. Second one, you've also actually completed successfully on many, many occasions. The third one takes you into the unknown. And now, Sherman Shanova of Russia, suddenly in a very interesting position here, Randy, because she's in second place at the moment, 107, bar's gone up to 112, five kilo increase, only 53 kilos, these lifters. That's quite, a, uh, quite an increase. Right. And whether she makes it or not, I think she's going to go for it. Watch yeah, well, this thing about leaning to the left, too. More than two times body weight. Oh, oh boy, she almost got clocked with oh. that. that. That was close because she drifted off to her right so much she i think was really close to those plates uh which means that a lot more likelihood they could clip her on the way down let's see if we can see this on the replay yeah you just have a look how close well, this was the plates on the side that's closest to us one that she misses i mean looking at live Oof. oh so oh it did actually it did actually it the hip. Yeah. yeah yeah better there though in some other places see it's because she shifted to that side so much although she would have had a lot more clearance but that, that could have been a lot nastier than it was. Thank goodness 
she came out of that pretty well, I think. Christina Yovu, same weight, 112 kilos. Now she is in the lead, so this is to enhance her advantage. Second attempt, four kilos up to take her into the 200s, 203. This would take her to. Boy, you know, after some missed jerks, really nice to see someone with a commanding jerk and some unusual things there to watch in the replay. Great position where she gets set up with the elbows really high, has a relatively close grip in the jerk, usually not something that gives you an advantage. There are the high elbows. Great position, though. Look at this. Great jerk. See how the head's pushed through? That's what gives you the alignment. And if you don't commit, you're not going to be in that position. If you're hanging back, trying to do a standing incline press, you won't hold a big jerk. Last attempt for Elena Shishkan of Belarus. Currently in fourth place, a kilo behind Yulia Rode. This is 112 kilos. And I have to say, this is massive. This is an eight kilo increase sorry nine kilo increase watch the jerk We're, we would predict maybe an easy clean based on what we've seen and the challenge will be the jerk very easy clean oh look at this she put it in the right spot made all the difference she had the strength before and that was finishing the jerk what we just talked about we're going to see that she gets the bar and the body in the right position and it becomes an automatic right there absolutely and uh, takes julia road out of the overall medals shishkin moves up into second place overall with 200 kilos and that's a uh, pretty hefty improvement i mean you're talking about someone who's sixth in the junior world that's a 20 kilo improvement on last autumn i gotta tell you she's a lifter to watch in my opinion partly because she's gonna move up a body weight class or two and she's got i think the ability to move some big weights but here is what we've been waiting for well this is Dutch Dellin. now remember christina yovu actually has a three kilo advantage over Dutch Dellin from the first half of the competition yovu who's got 112 this is 113 so this would nip the advantage of yovu's back by a kilo but of course it is Dutch Dellin's first attempt the european clean and jerk record holder at 126 kilos but this is only 113 Very deep split, and she's done amazingly well to actually save that, Randy. Yeah, that that did not get off to a good start. You're wondering, well, if she can clean and jerk so much more than that, how can she stand up with it? Mike Irani, the doctor on the left there, just making sure that Eileen is okay and helps her back into the hands of uh, coaches. Part of what happens here is, look, she doesn't catch the rebound in the bottom. She basically gets pinned, has a hard time standing up, not so apparent in slow motion. Also, what we don't see in slow motion is she's working that bar a little bit. It's not oscillation, but it's close. close. <laughs> but I'll tell you, she's really a, what a lion out there, huh? Working to save that thing when the bar is drifting on her. Yovu 203, Dajdalin 201, and Sheram Shanova of Russia 113. Now, thank goodness, no harm done apparently from that near miss with the bar now this is her third and final attempt six kilo increases would take her to 201 and it would take her into the bronze medal position yeah and she's corrected it and that is a championship medal yeah just punch that up had to take a little step forward when she recovered from the clean no big deal get set for the jerk and this pushes Shishkan, the Belarus lifter, out of the overall medals. Yobu, Dajdelin, Sheram, Sheram Shanova, the one, two, three at the moment.
So Randy, now we've got an attempt here by Christina Yobu. Now remember, Christina Yobu is 19 years of age, so she's in the junior ranks. So we've got an attempt here at a new junior clean and jerk record at European level and also total junior European record. But actually, she won't be thinking about that. She'll be thinking about the competition. And the competition here, this is a four kilo increase. And this now is very much the stakes between the two sets of coaches, between the Turkish coaches and the coaches supporting this Moldovan lifter. Yeah, this will put her gold medal position jerk in total. really worked for that and gets the records but more importantly gets those extra kilos yeah I think she's gonna put a little bit more on that record you know in the very near future so there it is she's rewriting the record book 116 now um, for that clean and jerk and she is the leader in the house right now In fact, just to correct that, she's yeah. actually taken the clean and jerk. Exactly. Uh, but not the oh, not the total. Yet. N not <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but now Daj Delin, 117. So this is four kilos. Now she's still behind. She's... If she gets these four kilos, it's going to take her from 201 up to 205, but she'd still be two kilos light, and she's heavier than Christina Yovu. So this has to be absolutely perfect. The clean, she needs to do this with the greatest of economy. Needs to give herself all the strength she needs for the second phase, the jerk. Well, that is better. Depending champion fighting to keep her title. And too close to the windpipe. And that's the problem there. Yeah, you know, she she caught the bounce better, so was in a much better position for getting set for the jerk. I'll tell you, you know, you mentioned the windpipe, other you know, otherwise too, the bigger fear is that because that's such a plyometric move right there, that something goes. And and it, you know still not a hundred percent sure if she's just passing out or if something got ripped. Now, okay, just wind, I think. Yeah, it's, it's passing out, but the problem she's got now is that Yobu, uh, you know, it's all down to Dutch Denin and 117. She'd have to do something pretty dramatic if she wants to hold on to the title. And I suspect the Turks will be realistic here. Yeah, you know, they don't need to win here. It's more of an ego thing, maybe, or pride or something. Well, you see, the problem is she's following herself, so a minute 28 yeah. seconds at the moment, that's all she's got to recover. Yeah. Now, that might sound a lot, but when that's happened to you, and you've actually gone groggy, and you've lost the oxygen, and it's been yeah. cut off, actually, that's not a lot of time to recover. Right, they might move her up. They might stop the clock and go to 118 just to buy the time. Well, that would be prudent. Here, you can have a look at it again, Randy. Gets set, pulls, gets under this. You can see how close that is when she settles that back. It's right on the windpipe, actually. Yeah, now I... Yeah, now she's certainly coming out like she was coming off there as if she was really passing out. Yeah, well done to the loaders. They were on very quickly to help her. And Dajdelin staking on 117. Dajdelin, by virtue of lighter body weight, uh, actually uh, 5288, and the Russian uh, Sheram Chanova 5289. But 
a very narrow advantage. She's in the silver medal position, whatever. We're going to see how tough she really is here. You, you know, she wanted to win, expected to win, missed that attempt, is behind. It's going to take a lot of guts to really attack this. Yeah. This would, of course, give her the gold medal in the clean and jerk if she can pick it up. No. Too much on this day, but don't write her off because she can still be a force to be reckoned with in the Olympic Games. Oh, yeah. I got to tell you, I would not have bet my house that she was going to make that lift. I think the second miss kind of broke her spirit a little bit. She doesn't need to do her best performance here. She wanted to, but it wasn't essential. London is where she's really got to say, whatever it takes, I got to give her my best shot. Well, she's up against the... The likes of Zulfia Shinshanlo, remember her from oh, Kazakhstan? Yes, can't, how could we forget? 227 she totaled in Paris. That was then, wait till we see what she brings to London, right? Yeah. But there it is, Kristina Yobu of Moldova takes the 53 kilo clean and jerk and Eileen Dajdelin in the silver medal position and Sharam Shanova of Russia gets the bronze. And there, Dana Berchi from Romania, who competed in the B group there, up into 11th place overall. As far as the overall championship, bringing those results in a moment, it sort of, Randy, just slightly petered out, didn't it? Well, it did, in a way, okay? But, you know, I was also thinking, David, at the top of the show, he said, look, this is going to be close. It was. There were some close battles we saw. You mentioned new talent. We saw some new talent changing the guard. This is another lifter to watch. I mean, yeah. I think we saw some good stuff here. So there's two lifters to take out of this. They happen to be the youngest. One is Elena Shishkan of Belarus, who's ended up in fourth place overall with a total of 200. So that's a, a massive new personal best right. for her. And Christina Yobu, who took the junior European title and has now taken the senior version. Right, and both look as if this is only the beginning of what they're going to produce. And there you have it, it's a six kilo victory. Dash Delin, runner up on this occasion. And Svetlana Sheram Shanova gets her first European Championship overall medal there, 201 kilos. Only the body weights uh, differentiating Eileen Dash Delin's efforts from the Russian. And then Shishkan in fourth place. But uh, from the two youngsters, yeah, a lot to take forward from this. Yeah.